Last week I visited Rape and Domestic Violence Services Australia in my electorate to speak with staff following its decision to withdraw from the 1800 Respect Trauma Counselling Service. RDBSA has provided trauma counselling to 1800 Respect clients since its inception. In October 2016, its contract with the Federal Coalition Government expired and the contract for 1800 Respect was put out to tender. Recently, the Federal Coalition Government has announced it would continue the service, but RDVSA will lose 75 per cent of its funding and must operate as part of the MHS call centre model. RDVSA made its decision to withdraw last week following considerable negotiations with Medibank Health Solutions. It was a decision not made lightly, especially given that up to 110 specialist sexual assault and domestic violence workers and other specialists employed at RDBSA will lose their jobs in October. Worse still, RDBSA may need to close its doors. Rape and Domestic Violence Services Australia has been providing specialist assault, sexual assault and domestic violence trauma counselling for almost 50 years. It's regarded internationally, included by the UN. It plays a critical role in its community, supporting many women through very challenging times. The government must ensure that both the staff at RDVSA and RDVSA itself are not Order. hung out to dry.